Here's my concert template for the Korg Nano Control 2. I use this concert when I'm designing my patches and playing live and I find it just really uh, works well. Alright, so to grab a patch, all you got to do is open Finder, find the patch, and just grab any old patch, and just drag it across. And then you'll see that it's all ready to go. So we got all the different sounds laid up, so we'll just pull up the basic sound, uh, volume, and then... And there you go. Uh, so the first thing you want to do when you get started is go to the layout uh, section and then click on the keyboard and to get your keyboard to talk to the software you just need to uh, get it plugged in via USB hit a sign so it's red and then just mash away on the keys and you'll see it responding and then undertick a sign and then if you just plug in any Korg Nano control uh, you'll, you'll notice that the eight sliders and the eight knobs will be already working for you and I've also got um, buttons and they are all going as well then you want to come over to the edit section and this is where we'll spend most of our time now all the things that we're going to talk about at, at this stage are in the concert level which means that they affect every patch that you're going to be using uh, so on the left here we've got our patch list so that it gets populated as we add patches uh, and then the, the next buttons are actually connected to the uh, track buttons on the nano control so you can easily switch patches we've got this logo here and then you can uh, change that to a different picture if you like or just keep it the same, it's up to you and then we've got the output now this just mimics the main output bus and then we got a little CPU load so t telling us how hard our computer is working and then a clock and then this light here that that just uh, turns yellow and does stuff anytime that there's a MIDI movement happening so that you can see like if your keyboard drops out um, you won't get any light happening so you'll know that there's a problem with the MIDI signal then we've got the panic button now if your MIDI freezes up for, for, any, for any reason that hit that button and then everything will just kind of stop I've also connected that to the stop button and then we've got our faders uh, and they're not assigned to anything at the moment so they're not going to move but once you assign uh, parameters to them uh, you'll be able to move them with the fader and then next to it we have a, a little you got you got to click on it you just got to click right there and I assign that to each fader and I'll show you how to do that in a second but all of this the patches that I do um, have that pre-assigned for you and the most important one you want to notice is that on the eighth fader and the eighth knob I have master filters so if you watch the little EQ curve uh, I'm pulling out all the low frequencies with the fader and you'll see the little light come up on the drawbar that's just that's just an extra visual indication so you can um, tell that there's um, movement happening because sometimes it's hard to remember and then and then again with the high frequencies so that's going to affect every sound that's that's, that's on a master um, bus so every sound is going to be affected by that and then we've got a little note section where you can type in little cheat sheets or just things you need to remember for a patch. And then obviously the keyboard and some other thing. And then, oh, a tap tempo button. That's connected to the, uh, where did I? Oh, yeah, it's connected to the uh, R button on the 8th fader. So you can tap away there. Um, but all my patches are pre-programmed and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, with the sustain pedal, it's connected to the main input of, um, of the keyboard, but if, if, if you want it to specifically grab your sustain pedal or it's not working, you'll just need to go to layout, uh, click on the sustain pedal, 
and then mash it with your foot and then that should reactivate but it should be working even though it doesn't always even though it doesn't light up it should work um, now that's a sign there if I can click on it there you go the mapping is on that channel pad one and it's assigned to the level that's how we to do that If you click on the patch, you'll see the attribute section. That's where it's telling it to change to this tempo. So if you guys do the song a little bit faster or slower, you can just adjust it there. So feel free to download it. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, to keep up to date with all the latest patches that I'm putting out.